Anybody see the Mitch McConnell video? Yeah. Wow. They're trying to figure out if he had a stroke on camera. Went out to talk about some... Um, Doesn't know how to work the body. Well, yeah, he's just... I mean, this reminds me of when somebody, a reporter uh, a couple of months ago asked him a question about AI. He looked like he was having a stroke. Mm-hmm. Uh, how will um, uh, the leadership deal with AI? What? You know the people that are making legislation on these things? With the what? With AI? He looks at somebody behind him. They're like, artificial intelligence. But this is like a long stare into something. Maybe he was seeing his life flash before his eyes. Uh, We're on a path to finishing the NDA uh, this week. It's been good bipartisan cooperation. And a string of... uh, Do you want to say anything else to the press? John Barrasso of Wyoming is uh, scooting in there to help him out. Dude, he's a thousand years old. You know, when you represent Wyoming, you're used to just people staring off into the distance. He's 81. He looks Mitch McConnell. Horrible. Yeah, but, he, but again, how long... It's not unprecedented for him to do like these long pauses. Obviously not, not that, that long. long. But how long do you give the guy? Because they had to be, again, they weren't like looking around him going, hey, is everything okay? They gave him a good long day. 20 seconds. They gave him like 15 before somebody's like, do you want to say anything more? Or do you, are, is this for dramatic effect? Do you want to stop mid-sentence, Mitch McConnell? 81, yeah? Is that what you said? Wow. He is one year older than Mick Jagger. Think about that. When does Mitch McConnell turn 82? I don't know. Because Mick Jagger turned 80 today. February 20th. There you go. So he just... 1942. So... (laughs) (laughs) Right, so he's... Born in World War II. Yeah. So he's five months older than Mick Jagger. Think about that. Think how much has changed since then. Like, no wonder he's more than they'd like. Yeah. I was gonna say he's yeah. like it wasn't this. This country wasn't the same since I was a kid. Like, yeah, you've been it's alive. The fifties. <laughs> right. I remember. Yeah, whatever. I don't even remember. I wonder if his first wife is still alive. He's been married to Elaine Chow now for a long time, but I wonder if Sherry Redmond's still alive. But, uh, yeah, the pride of Sheffield, Alabama, Addison Mitchell McConnell. Elaine Chow? Elaine Chow is his wife. She was the transportation secretary when Trump was, he was just throwing people gigs. No, Elaine Chow is. I wonder if his first wife is still alive. I mean, he's 81. Elaine Chow is probably mid-60s. 1953. She's 70. She turned 70 this year. Well, there you go. I like Addison. Why did he not go by Addison McConnell? I mean, Mitch is definitely, if you're going to do anything with that name, Mitch is what you want to do with it. Addison's I mean, he looks like an Addison. He absolutely doesn't look like a Mitch, but I think you're going to want people, you know, like Hasselhoff and Baywatch. That's a Mitch. You know, McConnell looks like a turtle. That's not a Mitch. That's an Addison. Yeah, he's got more of a yurtle. He's a, that's a yurtle <laughs> vibe that yeah. he's given off there. I tell you what, he's still smart, though, after all these years. Well, nobody's arguing his intelligence. Well, I'm saying the mental They're decline. Arguing, a lot of people are arguing his politics. I'm saying the mental decline for someone, like, everyone gets on Biden because they say he's not mentally competent, which he might not be. But that has nothing to do with him being old. That's just genetics because McConnell's still smart, and he's, eight, what, 80? 81. Yeah. Well, he might have had a stroke there on camera, too. Uh, the video of the naked lady in San Francisco shooting the gun into the air is <laughs> worth looking up, too, if you haven't seen that. Oh. Uh, you know how we say that uh, I call Ohio the Florida of the North. San Francisco is turning into the Florida of the West Coast. Uh, lady uh, buck naked gets out of her car uh, on like a major highway there in, in the Bay Area. Uh, they get the cops out there, the highway patrol, the chips get out there. Ponch and John on the scene. 
She gets out of her car, buck naked, and, like, starts firing a gun into the air like ISIS just got good news. Mm. And uh, people start calling 911. Is it illegal to drive naked? <laughs> yes. I don't. I think in most places you're not supposed to drive Why? naked. Because it's probably considered a hazard. How? I don't know. You're not supposed to drive barefoot is a hazard. Yeah. Right? Like if you're riding shotgun, it you can have your It's totally feet legal. It is not illegal in any U.S. state to drive naked. Okay, it's well, getting there you go. in and out of the car. <laughs> That's the problem. You could be naked in your car. So get in fully clothed, take your pants Disrobe, off. Disrobe. <laughs> and then put all your clothes back on before you get out of the car. But what if you're doing stuff in there? Well, that's different. This is just being naked. You can be naked. It's your property. It's your private property. It's your car. What Once you take you a step. You payments. Well, the bank still owns it. Yeah. Like I, your house. It's like being so, naked in your house. So when it comes to your phone, you have to be hands-free. When it comes to driving naked, do you still have to be hands-free? I don't think so. Can you have only one hand free? I hope so. A uh, guy in Washington had been driving with no pants about 10 years back, and the troopers pulled him over, and he said that he had just had a bikini wax, and it was chafing against his jeans, and so he took them off. But a witness well, there you go. said that the guy had exposed himself, and so he was arrested. And so that was a case where a guy said, there's nothing wrong with me driving naked. But you figure, here's the, here's the downside of that. It's easier to get carjacked. Yeah! They can levy that charge against you. Well, why would you be naked if you weren't going to flash somebody? So even though it's not illegal, there's a lot of things that technically aren't illegal, but I'm you're still going to get pinched now. for them. Like, the, you don't want to get a sex offender rap against you because you were in your car naked. You can't. You can you be can. in your car naked. You can, but what I'm saying is you people get pulled over all the time for stuff they shouldn't get pulled over and they'll just come up with a charge they'll go well why are you naked it's not illegal to be naked in my car but why are you cuz it might i'm my, chafing right well that's my business well we think you're doing that so you can flash somebody they'll they'll gin something up so even though it's not illegal it certainly doesn't sound worth it this what's says- the upside to driving in your Dude, in your I did car that with your pants off. After the Follow Boy concert, because I had on fishnet tights all day long and that button up dress that's made out of jean material. Were you driving? Yes. As soon as I got into my car, so I fully unbuttoned my dress. You're and then, jamming out with your clam out no, while like, you're on your way back from Blossom? I unbuttoned my dress, took my, because it fully unbuttoned, it like opens up like a blanket almost. I totally unbuttoned my dress. What was it made took, out of? Like jean material, like denim. Okay, there you go. What? <laughs> What? The denim is what I was looking for. The jean material I What's thought wrong was funny. With it? I thought so it was funny. I took my I took my tights off and then I drape I didn't put the dress back on. I like draped it over myself like a blanket. But if mm-hmm. I'd have gotten pulled over, I mean I technically didn't have clothes on. I had on like bra and underwear with my thing like if it was a towel or something. All right, so you just took it all off. It's too tight. Was steam coming out? It's hot, dude. Yeah. I was dancing like a crazy person. I'm on this Reader's Digest, and it says that women, you're being topless is not illegal. You can just be topless. Right. All I'm saying is, let's say you're naked in your car and you're at a red light that's near a school. If somebody says something, you're not going to get out of it with, I can. it's legal to be naked in my car. They're going to pin do, something on you. You're not doing anything. Nevertheless. You're they just pulled, sitting in your car. This video of this black kid that they, like, sick the dog on. They pulled him over because they said he had a mud flap missing. So clearly, depending on who pulls you over, they're going to come up with something because you've taken time out of their day. So, yeah, technically. The passenger side or driver's side mud flap? I don't know about that. I just want the full context, you know. (laughs) Which one is worse? I I have no idea. (laughs) You shouldn't get pulled over for that. Al, when your clothes are soaked in freezing, there's nothing like sitting like a naked ass on a heated seat. Yeah, heated. I'm not a huge heated seat guy. I have them in my car. It make you feel like you pooped your pants. Feels like you I peed your pants. No. You went for poop. I went for pee. <laughs> Makes you feel like you peed your pants. I didn't even know my car does stuff without my knowledge. Sometimes it, it really is a smart vehicle because they turn on sometimes. And I don't even know. 
the the seated uh, yeah, heated I, did, seats? I didn't even know I had heated seats, and then I think I may have hit it on accident. I was like, ooh, I, I thought I pooped. I was like, did I let out a fart and you know not know? And then I looked down at a little one of those little things. Were you thought you sharted, but you looked down and there were lights on in the car. Yeah, it was like, like the indicator light. Yeah, that that I had. My heated seats. I was like, ooh, I found I had heated seats today, so that's cool. This says the moment your nudity offends someone is the moment you should start worrying about potential legal trouble. Well, I can't be worried about what these no f- little snowflakes think about my boobies being out. Absolutely. They're not, yeah, they're not as their boobs aren't because as they're pretty. only gonna anyone nearby would only potentially see you topless. They wouldn't see you buck naked. Right. They're only gonna see you topless, but they're probably gonna assume. People assume things all the time. I heard it's just not worth it. Like who you, who are you trying to impress? It's not about impressing. No, but it's about freedom. Yeah. So, so if you yeah. get this, yeah. about, um, right now. this is about America yeah. and it, bald eagles. Mary's got her Mary's got her bald eagle on I full display out. in her car. <laughs> if you get naked in front of a window, is that illegal? This is why I got America. the label. You're not supposed to. Mary got sex labeled defender. a sex defender. I got labeled because a sex defender asking if the man who answered his door naked was technically doing anything wrong. Because he's exposing himself to other people. You're not supposed to do that. They if you knocked. do it in the cu- Huh? They knocked. America, America, America. I'm in my own home. Dude, you understand? America, America, America. My point is America's first. Listen, if you show up and you're, uh, you know, Roast beef on full display. Your meats and your cheeses. That's a whole other situation. We call that the full Arby's. Listen, don't worry about my horsey sauce. Don't worry about what we got going. You should worry about your horsey sauce. Don't worry about if it's horsey sauce. If it's Arby sauce, you don't know what's happening down there. Maybe a little bit bronco berry. You don't know. Bronco berry. I do like that. What is bronco berry? That's what you dip the jalapeno poppers in. Mm really good it's like a spicy jam this is an arby's thing yeah it's called bronco berry bronco berry sauce yeah it comes with the jalapeno poppers and it's like a jam it's like a spicy jelly almost yeah like a jam kind of so really good. you're doubling up on the spice because it's jalapeno poppers and then you're putting it in spicy jam it's not like super spicy it's still it's, got a it sweetness kind of diffuses to it, it. Yeah, it's, yeah it's real good though you would hate it yeah you'd hate you don't like anything that tastes good now, I do have people texting me asking me to test your theory and uh, drive home topless tonight. Me or you? You. No. Trust me, if I drive home topless, it'd be nothing but crashes the whole way. Alan, there's some roofers across the street from me. Does Pound Cake want a picture? <laughs> sure. Are you, are you into roofers? Yeah, if they're, they're going to get topless. a couple of working, minutes, they're going to be blown off the roof. I was say, if they're working shirtless and they're sweaty, there were some roofers on my neighbor's roof the other day, and I peeked on my blinds. I'm looking, got one eye out. Um, they were pretty buff, and it, it's just yeah, so manly. That's but hard it, work, but it's just so manly. Like he was do like was climbing up the ladder like it was nothing, and he had like materials in like a bucket. And he was just like not going easy on the ladder. He's just like, oh, this, I do this every day. Just set it up there. Got back down on his knees, and you could see he had the little crease in his back. And you see the sweat going down to his little. Ooh, <laughs> I'm gay. I'm so uh, gay. Pound has binoculars on the guy's I'm coin I'm slot. So gay. I'm so gay. Like there's there's times where I'm like, dude, I'm just gay. But there's other times I'm like, I am so gay. Like I see a guy jogging, and I don't even see the guy. I just see I immediately go, is he wearing sweatpants? What type of shorts is he wearing? Because I want to see if there's some bulge. Like that's really gay. Well, you are gay. You're pretty gay, yeah. dude. That, yeah, there's, but there, again, that's how up. I would be if there's a girl with a low cut top bending over. I would take a peek. You can't stare, but you can. So there's not levels to your straightness. Like you, some days you don't wake up and you're like, I'm, I'm kind of straight today. I'm like, no <laughs> levels to my straight. There aren't levels. I mean, what you're describing, you're you're gay. There aren't levels to your gayness. But, some days you're probably hornier than others, but. No, he's gayer, is what he's gayer. trying to say. No, I know that's what he's gayer. saying. I'm just saying there's not a day that you wake up and you go, I don't feel very gay today. <laughs> okay. You might. Why? Pa- there's you're a, not if, gay. You, if you see a dude, you're going to want to see him. But Okay, for example, I was packing up my clothes uh, and, and just the stuff that I was taking, stuff that I was throwing out, I was just getting rid of some stuff. Yay. And then I saw a, a, uh, one of those cutoff tops. I think I sent a picture to you, or you guys, back in the day when I would look better wearing it. And I was just like, I can't fit into it right now. But I'm gonna get back to that shape. <laughs> so I put it, it's literally a crop top, and I'm like, 
gay. I'm super gay. That's right? his aspirational piece of clothing. <laughs> it is. It's, it's, it's gold it's like the yogurt commercials where the girl hangs her bikini up in the corner and mm-hmm. eats the fart yogurt until it's, she gets to her goal weight. It's tiny. And I, I debated. I'm like, should I just try this one? I was like, no, because you know how it was when you were skinnier and you put it on. And it still didn't necessarily look right. I didn't have the abs for it. So I definitely don't have the abs for it now. It's not an arm shirt. Like, I have plenty of arm shirts. That it's I a look belly shirt. In. It's a belly shirt. And I don't have <laughs> the belly for it. I said, ooh, girl, I, I can't wait. Should I get my body right? I'm going to wear this. That was a very, Like you got very lost on your way to the pride parade. Yes. That could, you got to get some gold lame hot pants to go with it. Yeah, very, very. So do you have it on a hanger and you look at it and you go, I'm going to get to that? Yeah. I, ha- I, ha- I made sure to put that at the top of of the stay box because I'm, I'm going to keep it and I am going to get my body right just so I can wear that particular shirt because I liked it. I wanted to wear it and I was like, I don't want my size to affect my style, you know? Hmm. So I got to work down and get to it. Gotcha. <laughs> Super be able to get back in it. What color is it? I sent a picture years ago. It, it was uh, when I went to Pride. It's, it's a jersey. It's a crop top jersey with holes in it. Oh, I see. It has like 69 on it or something. Oh, God. Something <laughs> stupid. Guy. I sent, uh, it's so subtle. That's what I like about it's it. Like it's in the, the subtlety. It's in the group chat somewhere. But it shows my belly button. And I ha- had like my hairy belly button sticking out. It just, I need abs for it. There's certain shirts that you just need abs for. Understood. Alan Bronco Berry is the best, but let the crew know that they have discontinued it and the jalapeno <gasps> poppers. I haven't since eaten when? I ate it on. Friday. This person says they maybe you ate Arby. You had I, jalapeno poppers. Friday? I had jalapeno poppers. You had Arby's with on Friday. Bronco Berry sauce on Friday. Yeah, on my way to Bare Naked Ladies. That's where I stopped for a little food, a little treat. I don't ever hear anybody say that they ate at Arby's. Dude, Arby's is good. Other than you guys, I guess. You aren't running in an Arby's circle, Alan. Don't yeah, you're that. running. It's been. You're a Panera crowd. Yeah, seriously. No, I don't even need a Panera. I'm not saying you do, but the people you hang out with are. I run in a Panera crowd. Yeah, that's a, they're, they're Panera. People. <laughs> no, I yeah. I have couldn't tell you the last time somebody mentioned that they ate at a Panera either. Arby's. Wow. Where are your friends eating? You know, we don't often talk about where we're eating. Yeah. I, don't I don't even don't. talk about. True par- other no. things? No, Relevant things? Else to talk about. Hey, when was the last time you had an Arby's? That's yeah. usually not the cornerstone of any conversation Friday, I'm having just, with a person. Yeah. I didn't recognize your voice. I'm sorry. We don't hang out outside the show very much. Private car plus public roads equals public indecency, somebody says. Well, why not private? If I'm being indecent in private, yeah. who ca- there are no private roads. I mean, you know, unless you're on your driveway sure, or something. Is there private indecency? If you're... <laughs> Private, private. Well, listen. Domestic violence. Maybe this person is just using. Public privates. Maybe the Arby's location near this person Mm. is not carrying the uh, poppers. Or maybe it's not discontinued fully yet. Uh, They got to get rid of. They're phasing it out. Maybe there's a shortage on Bronco Berry sauce, and they're just again throwing the baby out with the bathwater. Pound cake heard poppers, and his ears perked up. But uh, these are the jalapeno variety. Hmm. All right. But what's in them? They're like deep fried peppers. They have cheese and crap in them too. Yeah, cream oh. cheese. Mm-hmm. Cream cheese. Cream cheese over so cheddar good, all dude. day. Jeez. So good. Man, now I want to get those and just mess up the next forty eight hours for myself. Do it. Where Should did I Bill get it? Arby's? Because the Lakewood One Seventeenth was the one who told me that they were discontinued. It was in Macedonia. Hmm. Well, there you go. And they may have lied to you. That might be worth the diarrhea. Are the jalapeno poppers? Dude, they are good, man. Worth and they were like, the diarrhea. I could always just stop and get lactate, but that doesn't really do anything. Doesn't really help you? Not really. What good is it then? Two. I'll eat five of them, bro. Five lactates? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> snort now, them. Is I'll it, crunch them up and snort them. Is it a popper Sorry. to lactate ratio? Is Maybe. it a one to one? You'll. Why don't you just put the lactate in the jalapeno poppers and eat them? Eat like... it with your first bite of dairy. I don't know. I don't think it's real, to be honest with you. I think you, it's a you marketing have to, scheme. You have to. It's it's your uh, digestif. You have to have the lactate before you eat the offending food. It says like you take the lactate pill with your first bite of dairy. So swallow the pill and then eat the cheese gotcha. or the ice cream or whatever. It's because it's an enzyme. It's the enzyme that breaks down lactose. That's all oh, that it I is. See. I don't know that it'll work though. Um, so wait, you're willing to go and get jalapeno poppers, but, and mess up your dinner date? Yeah. But not go get pho with me? Yes. You have a dinner date tonight? 
Me and Brian are just going to get food. It's not like a dinner date. We're not getting dressed up or anything. We're going to a Lebanese. You don't have to dress up for a dinner date. I mean, the two of you are having a We're having dinner. dinner. Yeah. Out. Yes. We're going to this delicious Lebanese place in Strongsville called La Kebab. They have the best. La Kebab? Yeah. Is this French Thai fusion? What is it? No. La Kebab? Yeah. L-A-K-B-O-B. La Kebab. Lebanese Not B-A-B? No. I'm telling you, man, it's this old dude and his daughter. Those are the only two people I have ever seen working there. And the guy makes everything from scratch. It is the best Lebanese food I have ever had. And they have the um, the grape leaves. They have the, they, oh, God, I love their grape leaves. But Bill's like, I believe you. Bill's like, call off your your Lebanese food date with Brian and go get pho with me. And I said, I don't want to do that. That's what I said. Oh, no, he told me to break up with Brian. (laughs) That's what he told me to do. Just for tonight, so we can go get food. And then you you can smooth things over when you get home. Also, no, no one should ever change plans to accommodate pho. It's Listen, broth. We get it. If it were December and it were cold outside, maybe I would do that. It's rainy. It's it also like 90. It's, it's not rainy soup and windy. Huh? 87 degrees out. I don't want to go eat soup. That's perfect soup weather. <laughs> it's, it's 86. It is not. You can have a severe gastrointestinal warning. But I, I would get. I was more in the mood for a banh mi. I would get the jalapeno poppers for dessert, Bill. Oh, dessert! dessert. Duh. Wow, got it. They're dessert, <laughs> dummy. Uh. All right, got a pound cake sports break on the way. Another one thousand dollars for you around five thirty. Another keyword from the buzzard bookie. And if you want to go see the band Glorious Sons, they're coming to Cleveland. I'll hook you up next. This is the Alan Cox Show. Everywhere on our free iHeartRadio app. 